Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Casual Caffeinated Conversations. I'm here with amazing Nancy. Oh my God, I met her exactly two years ago, almost to the day, and here we are seeing each other again. We've been connected online, but I just appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yay, so we're here to talk about mental illness. It never happens to me. It happens to those other people. So, have you had a brush with that? Have I had a brush with mental illness? Yes, I have. In fact, uh -huh. I actually ended up changing my entire career because I had a mental health uh, hiccup, let's say, uh -huh. back in 2011. Yeah. And I had to take time off work for depression, anxiety, and a wonderful decade-long purging disorder. So I've had my own hmm. had my journey. Mm -hmm. I, too have lots of brushes with mental illness yes it doesn't escape anybody it doesn't discriminate so tell me how did you come about with talking about this what are some of the things that you share mm -hmm. so i actually didn't start talking really until about 2016 mm -hmm. um, when i started to make sense a little bit more of my own story what was mental health and how could we connect with people on it. Mm -hmm. uh, how I started talking about it was by comparing it to pooping. So yeah. Pooping and mental illness? Mm -hmm. Wow! Tell me more. Mm -hmm. Well, it all comes down to depression constipation. So how the idea came to me was simply by being constipated and by one day having a really great poop. And that's where the silence then happens. <laughs> and it was that thought that got me thinking, wait a second. Hold up being constipated is very similar to being depressed. So oh. what are those? And how can we start to have those conversations from a physical standpoint, Yeah, which allows us to go to the more emotional standpoint. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Um, you said hold up and, you know, my mind right away went to, you know, the poop being held, the shit being held up. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's somebody trying to blow the leaves. So there may be some background noise. Uh, sorry about that. But uh, what are some things you could tell people about? About values? About, oh, I was like, about pooping, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> specific. Okay, so values actually. How values really enter into the realm of mental health is our values are the underlying beliefs upon which we take aligned action. Mm -hmm. If we are unclear about what our own personal values are, mm -hmm. we're just taking action that everybody else is. We're doing action that doesn't necessarily mean anything to us. It doesn't mm. give us meaning. It doesn't give us purpose. It doesn't allow us to align our own inner self to take the actions that we need to, to be our best self and show up for other people. That is brilliant. Thank you ever so much for sharing Thank your you. journey. And also talking about poop and making it okay to talk about poop. Mm. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.